In the realm of modern warfare, the anti-tank guided missile, or ATGM, reigns supreme. These potent weapons can obliterate even the most heavily armored tanks, changing the tide of battle. Today, we delve into a clash of two such titans, the Franco-German Milan and the Indian Nag. Both are formidable ATGMs, but they hail from different eras and boast distinct capabilities. Join us as we dissect their origins, examine their strengths, and ultimately determine which missile emerges as the superior weapon system in today's dynamic battlefield. Get ready for an in-depth analysis of these two powerful weapons that have shaped modern combat. We'll explore what makes them tick and how they stack up against each other. The Milan, which stands for Missile d'Infanterie Léger Antichar, French for Light Anti-Tank Infantry Missile, emerged from a Franco-German collaboration in the 1960s. It quickly gained popularity for its simplicity and effectiveness, becoming a mainstay in many NATO arsenals. On the other hand, the NAG, developed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, or DRDO, represents a new generation of ATGMs. It boasts cutting-edge technology and is a testament to India's growing prowess in missile technology. While the Milan was designed to counter Soviet armour during the Cold War, the ENAG specifically addresses the challenges of modern warfare, including sophisticated tank armour and electronic countermeasures. Size and weight are crucial in missile deployment and agility. The Milan is bulky, weighing 11.8 kilograms. The NAG is more compact, weighing 12 kilograms. Its weight is due to a larger warhead and advanced guidance. The Nagi's smaller size reduces its visual and radar signatures. Stealth and surprise are decisive in modern warfare. When it comes to raw destructive power, both the Milan and Nag pack a serious punch. The Milan employs a tandem-shaped charge heat warhead. The first charge detonates the tank's ERA, the second penetrates the main armor. The Nag takes it further. It can use a tandem heat or thermobaric warhead. A thermobaric warhead ignites a flammable vapor cloud. This creates a devastating overpressure effect. Section 5. Eyes on target. Guiding the way. The way a missile reaches its target is crucial. Milan uses SACLOS, requiring the operator to keep the target in sight. This exposes the operator to enemy fire. NAG uses an advanced imaging infrared seeker. This fire-and-forget system increases survivability. NAG's fire-and-forget capability is a game-changer. Section 6. Reach for Destruction, Range and Its Implications The range of an ATGM dictates the safe distance from which it can engage enemy targets. The Milan, with its earlier technology, has a relatively limited range of around 2 kilometers. The NAG, however, boasts a significantly longer range of up to 7 kilometers. This extended reach allows the Nagi to engage enemy armor from safer distances, minimizing the risk of retaliation. This extended range also enables the Nag to cover a wider area of operation, making it a more versatile asset on the battlefield. Section 7. Fields of Battle Deployment and Tactics both the Milan and NAG are highly effective ATGMs, but their deployment and tactical use differ significantly. The Milan system, due to its weight and design, is typically deployed by infantry units. Its primary role is to provide close-range anti-tank defense. The NAG, on the other hand, is a more versatile weapon system. It can be launched from a variety of platforms, including ground vehicles, helicopters, and even ships. This makes it a valuable asset for both offensive and defensive operations. The ENAG's advanced capabilities and flexible deployment options make it an ideal choice for modern militaries looking to maintain a technological edge in anti-tank warfare. Section 8 Conclusion NAG's Edge in Modern Warfare In the ultimate ATGM showdown, the Indian NAG emerges as the clear winner. The Nagi's fire-and-forget capability and extended range make it a formidable force. 
it represents a significant leap in anti-tank technology. Its development is a testament to India's growing military capabilities.